In a recent meeting of the Piscataqua Region Monitoring Collaborative, scientists from the Piscataqua Region Estuaries Partnership, PREP for short, discussed data showing positive improvements in oysters and fish numbers in the region. PRMC is the Piscataqua Region Monitoring Collaborative, and it's a group of municipalities who discharge wastewater to the Great Bay um, watershed. And we're all working together, uh, providing additional funding for research that needs to occur so that we're monitoring water quality in Great Bay and monitoring its recovery over time um, as we're making improvements to wastewater treatment um, and other reductions in pollutant load. Much of this research is done in the field and part of that work is based out of the University of New Hampshire's Coastal Marine Laboratory in Newcastle, where PREP director Kyle Matzo explained more about the positive results in data they've been seeing. Since 1993 we had 26 million oysters in this estuary and three or four years ago we were down to around two million which would have been a, a, over a 90% loss of, of oysters. Oysters are such incredible habitat. They're like pool filters, right? They just, they're filtering the water all the time. So to go from 26 million down to 2 million, it's just hurt, right? It hurts for so many reasons. It hurts because they're delicious to eat. They're, they're a great habitat for fish. They clean the water. The good news is, for the first time in, a, in, in, in maybe 20 years, we have two or three years in a row where we were above 5 million oysters. So now we've only lost uh, more like 80, 83 percent of our oysters. It's still a heavy, heavy loss, but we're, at least we're moving in the right direction. Data from Fish and Game has also shown a large increase in fish populations. This ongoing research is proving to be important for local communities in the watershed. Exeter has been contributing to the monitoring efforts for several reasons. One, we need to know that our significant investments that we've been making in our wastewater treatment plant, in great dam removal, what effects these have on the environment and proving that we are making a positive improvement on the environment. The more that communities feel like they understand what's going on and they can understand why they're seeing the ups and downs that they're seeing, the more they're willing to support many of these interventions, which are not easy. Look, we understand that. It's not easy to, to spend $70 million on a new wastewater treatment plant, which is, I think, around what we spent in the town of Exeter. There's so many good reasons to do a better job of taking care of our landscape in an environmentally and sort of infrastructure way. But we need that data so that we can tell the story. You know, in the end, we humans, we need a story. And the data is part of the story. The other part of the story is, is why we love what we love. Why do you love the water? Why do you love being able to take your kids out here and, 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 and see critters and not see any litter? You know how lucky we are? I mean, look at this place. It's beautiful. Let's keep it that way. If you're interested in learning more about the Piscataqua Region Estuary Partnership and their work, you can visit their website, prepestuaries.org. And stay tuned for an upcoming episode of Exeter Outdoors, where we dig into the data and learn more about the research going on in our waterways.